Okay, so today we're back to the uh, intern crew and uh, a show that uh, Angie did about Watermark, which is a great uh, kind of entry-level job. Uh, the kids at TransTech, a lot of them go there. And uh, basically when we get back to uh, the Inner Harbor being open and things really operating, uh, you can go out on the Watermark tours and uh, Angie's going to tell you about it. Watermark is a tour boat company operating in Annapolis and Baltimore's Inner Harbor. Thousands of visitors take their scenic and informative sightseeing tours to Fort McHenry every year. Watermark is an excellent partner with NEA's TransTech program, offering students a chance to learn about and experience working on a water firsthand. So you enjoy working at Watermark? Oh, I love it. There's never a bad day on the dock, you know. It could always be worse. You could be sitting in an office somewhere. So, you know, I love it. We have a lot of good people that work here. Um, we interact with customers every day, and it's just a lot of fun. What was your best experience so far? Uh, my best experience is just every day working with different people. You get to learn new things about people. Um, we get people from all over the world that come here to Baltimore Harbor to learn a little bit about what we do here and a little bit about our area. So the, the best thing is just meeting different people from all over the place. I've met people from Alaska, people from China, and you get stories from you know people from all over the world and that's what I really liked about the job. What made you want to make this into a career? So. I grew up on the water, so I grew up boating. My grandparents lived on the water as well. Um, so I just you know, used that to transition into doing this. I tried to find some way I could make a career out of being on the water. How old do you have to be to work on a watermark? So starting at tickets, you have to be 15, but we require crew members to be working on the boat to be 16 years old. So people that's in high school and started the TransTech program is water mark a good place for them to start? Yes, it's a great opportunity to get on the boat, start to learn stuff early on. Um, you know, especially a lot of people coming into the industry aren't doing it until out of college. So people coming in at the high school level and getting the experience is great. I mean, we've had people go on from here, go to maritime academies, and now we're working on tankers, driving tankers in the Great Lakes, in the Gulf. So it's a great opportunity to learn a little bit. And uh, our captains treat everybody like family. So if somebody wants to come down and learn about the boats, they always have to say, hey, captain, show me something about the engine. And they'll take them down in the engine room, show them what they want to know. So it's a great place to learn a little bit about, you know, what you might want to do in your future. From where you are now and into the future when you want to, like, further your career, is there any other position that you would like to work? So I just recently this winter got my 100-ton captain's license. Um, so when working here as a crew member, I logged all of my time. And what you can do is you can take that, bring it to the Coast Guard and go take their test. And that's what I did this past winter. So now I have my 100 ton master's license. So I hope to be driving the boat soon. So how much experience do you have to have to work on a watermark as the, you know, boat operator? So there are certain levels of licensing um, and that's all described by the Coast Guard. And for each level of license requires a certain amount of hours on a vessel. So an, a day is described as four hours on working on a vessel. So once you have that time logged, then you can go ahead and apply to take the class and go through the process of becoming a captain. So usually it's a two week class that you take. Um, it's very rigorous. It's a lot of work, but it's worth it in the end. And that's how you earn your, your license. There is a 2,500 ton license. There's a 100 ton license, a 200 ton license, and then an unlimited license, which lets you drive, you know, like big cruise ships down to the Bahamas and stuff. But I'm not, I'm not quite there yet. I'm going to play it out with the 100 ton license for now. So what is your position? My position is crew. What do you need to achieve crew level? You have to be very polite, you know, you have to receive good reviews from your captains. You know, just be a good person, good citizen. To everybody that's aboard the vessel. Do you have any further goals with Watermark and what positions you want to be? I got my eyes on Ops Manager. And what is Ops Manager? They actually um, make sure everything goes fine down here in the Baltimore area. They um, make sure everybody that's a group checks in and um, make sure they get on board the vessel and any problems, you know, they handle those things. Compared to most of the jobs that you could be doing, like fast foods and working in like stores and things like that, what's different from Watermark? It's very different. This job is actually, it's like, it's a stress reliever. You might come to work one day on a land job, you got to deal with people every, every moment. But out here on the ocean, you know, say if you're having a bad day, you can just look on the back of the boat and all your stress will go away. You can take things off your mind. 
don't be afraid to l try new things. Don't get me wrong, I still can't swim, but I work on a boat every day. You can make a lot of money on a boat, so. And the requirements, like this is another route to take if you don't want to go to college. This is another way that you can make a lot of money here on the water.